everyone, my name is Audrey. Uh, I am an international dentist. Um, and now I have a degree in dentology and an international dental program in the Lausanne University. Today, I wanna talk about the Whitmix articulator and I wanna open the box of the Whitmix. As you can see, this is the box of the Whitmix. And you can see here the serial number and the item number of the Whitmix. Let's open the box. Nice box. You can see here there's instructions. Um, they are a two instruction of the Whitmix. One of them is about the, the articulator and the other one's about the baseball. Uh, as you can see, this is the box of the articulator. This is the lower member of the articulator of the Whitmix. Uh, as you can see, there are a couple parts in here. Uh, this is the incisal table. You can see you can move it forward and backward, and there are one screw here. Uh, this one is the mounting plate, and then you can uh, screw and unscrew it, and you can remove the mounting plates. There are a pretty big uh, screw here. This is the mounting plate that you can detach it. Uh, this is the semi-adjustable Archon articulator. It shows that uh, the condylar part located on the lower member of the articulator. And always the lower member of the articulator is just uh, uh, showing the uh, mandible of the patient. There are a central lock here that you can lock your uh, upper part of it. And then here there are the maxillary part, the maxillary part. Very pretty well secured. This is the upper part of the articulator. The upper part of the articulator is the analog of the patient maxillary. So the upper part of it is just located on the lower part. As you can see, there is a centric lock and then you can lock the lower part with the upper part of the articulator with a centric lock. This is the incisal pin. The incisal pin has a two ends. One of them is the flat one and the other one is the round. Just the incisal pin just located here is on the incisal table and there are a couple degrees here and then always you have to just be on the neutral zone on the, the one dark line which is a zero and always you have to adjust on the zero and you can screw it and this is your incisal table and you can see it's pretty well here and also the upper part is completely parallel with the floor. Uh, there are uh, two uh, rubber bands here. You can see the rubber bands uh, and then uh, which is attached to these two uh, components of the articulator on the lower part is a simulation of the temporomandibular joint, the ligament. And you can see there are uh, two big screws on the upper part. This one shows the con condylar inclination of the articulator. And the average of the condylar inclination is uh, 30 to 35 degrees. And I can adjust it to 30 degrees here. As you can see, this is the angle, this is the degrees that you can just adjust it with these two screws on the both side. And this one is as well on the 30 degrees. As you can see, there are a mounting plates, and then you can just um, re attach or de detach the mounting plates. There are two stabilizer here. This is the stabilizer, and then you can stable your articulator on the table, and they can move uh, 360 degrees very easily. And also another thing is that the Whitmix box has it. There is a face ball. Uh, the faceball has a three-ton screw that you can easily adjust it. There is a mesial relators, 
that easily you can adjust on ACM relators. And there's a transverse jig that uh, there's a one vertical road and one of them is a horizontal road and there are a two ton screws that you can adjust it and you can place your fork. And also there is a fork of the face bowl. Um, the other thing that the box has it, uh, there is the occlusal plate, you can see. And there are two extra mounting plates that you can see in the box. Uh, pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video of the uh, Whitmix uh, unboxing. And thank you so much for watching the video.